Hi everyone, this is Murtaza and you are watching one of my videos about refactoring in C Sharp and Visual Studio. In this video, I'm going to talk about another technique that we can use in Visual Studio, uh, another refactoring technique, uh, extract method. It is very useful, very handy. I use it uh, almost every day. So, Let's talk a little bit about this refactoring technique. According to solid principles, a class or a method should always have one purpose to change, or in other words, it should always have one single responsibility. So if you have a method which is very long, uh, it is probably doing more than one thing, right? Or when you want to choose a good name, a meaningful name for a, uh, for a method, but you can't do it, more often than not, it is because the method body of that method is doing more than one thing. For example, a method that is sending an email uh, or, for example, printing something and updating the database. Now, let's do this and let's eradicate this problem and always keep in mind that a method should always have one responsibility. In this method, in this class, class employee, we suppose we have a method which is going to send an email and also uh, print out something and also notif notify, notify a customer about something that happened. So I'm going to change the name to send email, uh, print invoice and notify customer and in order to make it really simple I'm going to say email sent email sent I'm going to say uh, invoice printed and customer notified so this method is doing three different things, right? Uh, the name is not meaningful enough. Of course, it has to be three different methods. This method has too many responsibilities. We do not like that. In my course about writing high-quality code in C-sharp, which you can find on my website, uh, I have talked about this, about the fact that a method should only do one thing. Now, in order to kind of break down the code of this method into three different things, th three different methods, uh, of course, I have to come here and say public void, send email, and then move this code file here, move this line of code here, right? This is very tedious. Of course, if uh, the chunk of the code that you want to select and move is really big. There is a very easier way to do this, and that is the refactoring we're going to talk about. Let me just delete this. Extract method. This is what happens. You select a chunk of your code in your method body and then extract that and put it into, into a new method. So I'm going to uh, move this line of code into a new method, and I'm going to call this send email. Uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to select this line of code and then go to edit, refactor, control R, control M, or I can select this and then press control period and extract method pops up. So I have to choose a name for this new method, right? I'm going to call this send email. And this, then this line of code, I'm going to choose it. Control R, Control M. Uh, this, was, was, this one was about printing an invoice, so I'm going to call this print invoice. And the last one was about notifying the user, right? Control R, Control M, notify customer. 
and then I'm gonna change this with the rename refactoring which I talked about in one of my previous videos I'm gonna press control R control R and I'm gonna say uh, mm, process order in this process order first we're going to send an email then we're gonna print the invoice and then we're gonna notify the customer about the fact that the order was processed so extract method is a really really useful refactoring technique it helps you make your uh, large methods uh, shorter and extract a chunk of your code and then put it into a new method and it makes your first method uh, not do different things and of course it helps readability so use it use it it is very useful thank you for watching this video you can of course watch my other videos on my YouTube channel, Software Development with Mortism.